Who is going to take over the quarterback position from Drake May this season? Hello everyone, my name is Nathan. I am one half of your Heel Brothers and it is finally time to start talking college football. The spring game is this coming Saturday on April the 20th and I am so looking forward to it. I'm going to be there live and in person and we're actually planning a live show to do there uh, in person as well. So hopefully if you guys are up there in Chapel Hill, you'll be able to run into us and uh, talk to us for a second and have a good time. And who knows, you may even make it onto the show. Who knows? But this is a, a very interesting, interesting offseason this year. As we all know, Drake May uh, has entered the NFL draft, projected to be one of the top 10 picks. And that leaves a huge hole for North Carolina at the quarterback position. We have been absolutely just spoiled with quarterback play since the return of Mac Brown when he brought in Sam Howell and then later on when Drake May took over the helm there. Those are two amazing quarterbacks, two of the best quarterbacks in our collegiate uh, history as a college and uh, quite frankly if you got looking at it you maybe even say it's the two greatest quarterbacks that we've had in our lineage here at North Carolina but the question is now who is going to take the spot and right now there is a dueling quarterback battle between a SEC transfer in Max Johnson a 6'6 225 pound quarterback out of the SEC has been playing for this is going into his fifth year and also redshirt sophomore Connor Harrell he is 6'2 he is 205 pounds now if you listen to what I just said with the height there's a big difference in between height and also weight there there's a big difference between the two quarterbacks let's look at Max Johnson first he is the newest transfer in for North Carolina they got them right after the season concluded in that first transfer portal window and he came in early and he has been involved in spring practice and him and Connor Hill have been going back and forth in this quarterback battle now Max Johnson this is his third stop in his college career first stop starting for LSU and then after a couple of years transferring over to Texas A&M uh, where he had sustained some injuries in his time there. Uh, didn't really get to start, but just a few games in both seasons for Texas A&M and then ultimately landing with us here at North Carolina. And I think right now he has been, since he came in, the obvious QB1. Uh, we knew the quarterback battle was going to take place, but when he came in, you look at his experience. Uh, he's thrown over 900 balls in the SEC, playing in big-time games against big-time teams, and those big boys out there in the SEC. I feel like the common consensus amongst the fan base and also the national media was going to be that Max Johnson would take over this spot uh, immediately coming this fall. But Connor Harrell's got something to say about that as he has been sitting here for two seasons now. His red shirt true freshman year was the year, Drake's first year, uh, as he was the third string quarterback behind Drake May and Jacoby Criswell. And then last year becoming the true backup to Drake May, uh, where he actually ended up getting a start in the Duke's Mayo Bowl against West Virginia in which I thought he played very well. He definitely showed off his ability to be able to run. He had some flashy passes and uh, unfortunately got uh, slightly injured in that West Virginia game. And as a guy who saw it in person, and there is a vlog for that, uh, I was very impressed with the guy. But the question is, what's happening right now in Chapel Hill with the quarterback battle? What's going on right now? Well, per Chip Lindsey and Mac Brown, they're getting equal amount of reps with the same unit. So for North Carolina, their spring practice, uh, they have a blue and a white team. The blue team is technically your starters, and your white team would be your reserves. And both players have gotten equal amount of reps between both because they don't want anybody to maybe have an edge with somebody being more experienced. Oh, well, you know, maybe Max got more playing time with the more experienced guys or Connor got stuck with the less experienced guys, so he doesn't pop off as well. Nope, that's not the case at all. Both guys are playing with both units currently as we speak. And quite frankly, hearing what we're hearing, this is a little bit more of a battle than I think any of us thought there would be. Because in my opinion, let's break this thing down. This is what we're hearing right now, is that Max is good. Max is good. He's a good player. A little bit more mobile than we thought. 
Uh, definitely has some IQ, but there is a tendency of his to hold on to that ball just a tad bit longer than he should and being kind of behind on his throws. And it has definitely caused some turnovers throughout spring practice. They have now done two scrimmages uh, live and in person with another type of practice slash scrimmage going live uh, tomorrow morning on the ACC network. So uh, curious to see how he plays, but uh, being a guy that is Max Johnson and being as experienced as he is uh, and, and you know, gotten starts in big games with big teams and big moments, uh, I'm kind of surprised to hear the things that I'm, I'm hearing coming out of spring training and that Connor Harrell is playing his lights out. And now two things you can kind of take away, in my opinion, with, the, with, with bringing in Max Johnson. Number one, North Carolina wanted to have a security blanket in place just in case for Connor Harrell. But also, I believe, and this is goes into my point about Connor Harrell, is that they brought him in to see how Connor would react, to see what he would do to change. Would he be one of those players that says, you know what, bump it, I'm not fighting for this, I'm going to leave. Or to be one of those guys that's going to study hard and really take every rep seriously and really dig in to the fact that, no, I want to play, and I'm going to prove myself here against this guy. And it's really grounded him, and I think it's made him a lot better uh, than he has been maybe in previous years. He's been sharper. I've heard he's he's really shown off his explosive ability to be able to run, but also that he's also throwing the ball pretty well from what I'm hearing. And uh, with that being right now, my, my question is, is, is it saying more about Connor Harrell stepping up to the plate or – is it saying a little bit less on Max Johnson that maybe even though he did have all this experience in the SEC, which he does, is he as good as maybe he's thought to be? So with Connor Harrell, you have a guy that is pretty dynamic. You know, we have saw his ability to be able to run. We have also saw his ability to be able to throw the football. And, you know, you take it back to the West Virginia game and you look at the throws that he was making and the situations that he got put in. And let's be honest with you, that offensive line played horribly for him uh, in that bowl game. But look, at, go back and look at the game and see how he did. Now, he did have two interceptions in that game, but I go back to those throws and see, okay, what were those throws? What was he trying to do? Both of which were in the end zone or right there and around the, the, the red zone area there. He was trying to throw in some pretty tight windows, and he was so, so close to hitting those windows. I know I, I saw both of them. If, the, if he could have got it down maybe an inch, maybe not even, maybe half an inch, he probably completes both of those passes, and those could be touchdowns. So I'm curious to see how he's looking in those scenarios, but also – what he has to get better at, in my opinion, is throwing to the wide open receivers. I know his checkdowns in those games were uh, kind of all over the place, and he seemingly had a hard time with getting the ball right there in the sweet spot, right in the bread basket, if you will. And uh, I feel like if he works on that, he could turn into a really good quarterback. But I'm curious to see how Max Johnson is, because this guy is a guy that can see over everybody. He can he stands over everybody. Six foot five, for God's sakes. He's huge. Six foot five, six foot six. He gets he varies in his measurements all the time. But uh, you look at him and you see how he plays. And if he's as mobile as they're saying, then at that point in time. If he can get down his timing of throwing the football and making sure that he is on time and on target, then you could see a pretty deadly weapon uh, with the wide receivers that they've got. Because let me be honest with you, the wide receiver room for North Carolina is great. It is fantastic. They have hit this thing out of the park. And what helps right now in spring, and we'll talk about them at another time, but uh, what helps right now at spring is that your senior guys aren't there because they're coming off of injury and all the young guys are having to play. Your Chris Cullivers, your Jordan Shibbs, your Vari Greens, people of that nature. And they're really showing out right now. So that really helps this team going forward just to keep that in mind. But both guys, in my opinion, could be pretty great options for North Carolina. Now, let's, let's go ahead and tamper you know, expectations now. Are they going to be Drake May? No, it's not going to happen. And this team this year is not built to, in my opinion, 
you know, have a hero quarterback. You know, in the past couple of seasons, it seems like it's been hero ball from Drake Mann. It's been expected. Well, this team knows they can't expect that this year. So the pressure's off in that sense where they're not expected to go out and have to just throw for 300 yards every single game and, and scramble for dang near 100 yards to, to win a game. They have great weapons around them, and if they can make these simple passes, they can probably succeed on offense the way that they want to. So it's going to be curious to see how this thing shapes up. If I had to give a prediction right now of the person I think will start this season, I believe right now maybe the obvious answer is Max Johnson, but something tells me Connor Harrell is going to come up and steal this thing. I don't know how, but I believe that he can. But right now I think Max Johnson's probably your number one as we sit right now, but let spring finish and get into fall, and you may have a different answer come that opening game against Minnesota. Curious to see how it happens. I'm looking forward to it, and I think it's going to be really, really fun. I think we have two great quarterbacks right there uh, that have the you know potential to really show out this year for North Carolina. I think they have been giving a great roster to work with. I think North Carolina's roster is really good this year, and I'm curious to see how it continues to develop, especially the depth, how it continues to develop. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. What do you all think about this quarterback battle? Do you agree with me? Do you think it's going to be Max? Do you think it's going to be Connor? Uh, what do you think about it? Let me know what you guys think down there in the comments box below. If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying what you're seeing, be sure to hit that like button. and Also hit the subscribe to never miss another video of the Hill Brothers, man. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here. And as always, go Hills. You don't want no. I'm good. I'm a leader. I'm a guy. I'm a